Content Warning is easily one of the most popular games to release in 2024, and if I'm being completely honest, I don't think it's very good. Don't get me wrong, this game is very enjoyable and definitely a lot of fun with friends. However, I want to talk about some problems that I think that this game has that prevents me from seeing this as the super good game that everyone says it is. Keep in mind that this is all just my opinion, but hopefully I can share some thoughtful insight into my thoughts and feelings. Anyways, don't forget to like and subscribe, and let's get to the video. So Content Warning's general gameplay loop works like this. You and your friend are aspiring content creators who want to make it big on Spooktube. You are sent down to a place known as the Old World and try to capture footage of something scary. After exploring around and finding some monsters to capture for your footage, you return to upload the video to Spooktube, and then you you watch your masterpiece. And go to bed. You have to reach a certain number of views within the three day timestamp, and if you don't, then you die of sadness. Basically, this is a YouTuber simulator. Now, before I start talking about some things that I don't like about this game, I want to talk about the good stuff first. For starters, I love the art style and aesthetic of the old world. I am just a sucker for pen art. Most of the monster designs are pretty solid and the whole vibe of the old world fits pretty well with the spooky vibe. The concept for the game is fun and it is definitely a game for YouTubers. The idea of recording your own videos in game and that you can then save and upload is incredible marketing for the game, so you gotta respect that. This game definitely has charm to it and the goofy movement of the characters does help with that, although more on that later. I love the juxtaposition of the old world versus the cabin that you stay in and overall the game is pretty fun. So why do I have a problem with it? Well, let's get into that right now. Now, as I said, your goal is for you and your friends to go and find scary things to film and then bring your footage back. Now, I want to start with the monster of all things. The monsters in this game have cool designs and it's definitely fun trying to capture footage of them. You see, a problem that this game has is that its monsters are not usually very interesting to film, especially with friends. Take the snails for instance. These guys just kind of walk around and yes, they can be funny to take on, but they don't instill a reaction in the player besides we have to film this guy. Some monsters are super intense and make this game a lot more fun to record with, but one thing about this game that I think is a real problem is its risk and reward system. If we look at a similar game like Lethal Company, there is also a risk and reward system as well. You stay on moons for longer and go deeper into the facility, or just go to high level moons and things become more dangerous. While I believe that it works the same in content warning with monsters spawning throughout the day, the problem is that you oftentimes find yourself just roaming around for 5 minutes trying to find something. And when you do finally find something, you've used all your footage just messing around with your friends. Not to mention the big thing. If you die and no one ever chase the camera, that is just a wasted day. Well, yes, this is just like not collecting enough scrap on Lethal Company, there is a problem with this for me. The game actually gives you more views for either fighting or dying to monsters. So the fact that if everyone dies and you don't retrieve the camera, then you lose all the footage, makes it that the player never wants to go deeper or try more risky things. It's not worth getting that awesome shot of being one shot by a super dangerous enemy if you won't get your footage back. This may be a personal thing, but I always find that me and my friends are holding back because we don't want to lose the camera. And while yes, you can and retrieve your camera in some instances, that's counting on the fact that you didn't explore so deep that you are now completely lost. Not to mention if you just end up in a completely different spot, well then, tough luck. This is how the game was designed to be played after all, and like Lethal Company, it is a risk and reward system. It definitely isn't as engaging as Lethal Company is, but I don't think it is trying to be. And that leads me to my next problem. With the game being as stupidly goofy and kind of scuffed as it is, the actual desire to try and grind out runs in this game is honestly non-existent. Playing the game this way eliminates the one thing this game is trying to do, get you to make funny videos for you and your friends to enjoy. This game is also heavily reliant on you having a really funny group of friends, which obviously could see the fact that I'm making this video, I don't really have any. So that's a skill issue on my part. But even with friends, I find that I am never motivated to push boundaries and we are always getting bored super quickly. Look, I can play games for a really long time. I mean, I beat every Final Fantasy Freddy's game in one stream, which took me over 15 hours. But if I'm honest, I was still full of energy by the end of it. However, after just one hour of content warning, I'm losing energy and getting bored. Because as funny as the moments in this game are, most of these are neglected for the sake of getting good footage for your camera. The process gets really old really quick, 
and because of the slapstick movement, everything feels a bit janky and hard to optimize. Meaning from the start of a day until you go to sleep, you're spending a ton of time just walking to and from your diving board and walking around the hub trying to get your camera in a hole. The movement, while adding to the atmosphere, makes it really hard to play for long periods of time, as after a while, this movement starts to get really old. With a game like Content Warning, that game's movement isn't perfect either, but it feels smooth and is actually quite fast. Content warning honestly just feels kind of slow with its movement, especially considering how intense some of the monster encounters can be. A lot of the time the attacks and movement feel so slow, especially every time you get hit, because you ragdoll across the map and then have to slowly wait for the player to get up. Playing this feels super slow, and for me personally, it kind of feels like playing VR chat at 2 in the morning, being super tired and trying to move around with Joy-Cons. It's a weird comparison, I know, but one that I actually think accurately describes the moveset. Now, as I said before, I get that it's entirely intentional and that this game is meant to be treated as a bit of a joke. But if I'm being honest, I just do not vibe with this game at all. I just think that the movement and the repetitive tasks just make this game feel like a slog. But I know what some of you are gonna say, that Lethal Company is also repetitive and yet you enjoy that. So let me explain the difference. In terms of loading times, Lethal Company is definitely a smoother experience. The ship landing and taking off feels natural, and normally there is enough going on in Lethal Company that you just don't notice, because the act of leaving and exiting a moon is just part of the game. Content Warning has two separate parts of the game, the hub and the old world. After leaving the old world, you still have to throw your camera into the machine and then wait for the footage to load, which sometimes can just crash. It's then you have to survive. watch the whole video and then watch yeah, the view count go up. And then afterwards, you've got to go to bed, which takes a while to fully work too. And then you can start repeating the process. Leave the company, you pick your moon and you launch in straight away. And then when you're done, you launch out. This takes like half the time that it takes for content warning to do its thing. Not to mention that Lethal Company encourages conversation between the players more. Let me explain what I mean by that too. So content warning is obviously all about being an idiot and making jokes. That's cool and all, but content warning doesn't actually have that much content compared to Lethal Company. And a lot of the time, because you're trying to make funny videos with your friends, you spend a lot more time just being quiet or planning skits that you're going to be doing instead of just talking. While Lethal Company requires you to constantly talk with your teammates at all times. In Content Warning, you could just record for a minute of Bones and Monsters and it doesn't really matter what you say in the actual video. In Lethal Company, you have to talk to your teammates in order to accomplish anything. And this honestly leads to funnier interaction. And if I'm being honest too, Lethal Company is definitely a scarier game. But I think that's because it's trying a bit harder. But surprisingly for a game that's meant to be about filming something scary, Content Warning isn't actually that scary at all. The monsters 9 times out of 10 are just kind of NPCs that you can film. Sure, there's some actually scary monsters in the game, but usually they just kind of insta-kill you half the time, so encountering them isn't as scary. Well, it is, but it's for the wrong reasons. Overall, my complaints about this game are just my opinion. I understand that most of what I don't like about this game is part of why it's so popular. It's all intentional, and that is totally fine. However, for me personally, this is honestly a game that I would only play with a group of really funny friends, and I'm not playing it for more than an hour. The game is charming, but it didn't win me over, and it honestly just made me feel tired and bored most of the time. If you do enjoy this game, that is totally fine. It's just not for me. Also, I understand that this game is extremely buggy, and that that also might be half of my reason, but yeah, sometimes the bugs just really annoy me. Anyways, that is the video. If you enjoyed, be sure to like and subscribe. And as always, I will see you in the next video.